Hi boys, looking at our week two words um, today, we're going to look at all of the different ways you can say the sound or. So you can use AW, OR, or AU. Now unfortunately, you just have to kind of remember which of these suits which word. Okay, so we've got uh, one of our words is awkward or or is a little bit easier uh, in such a word as orphan and au could be audible able to be heard so we're going to have a look at some of our spelling words such as squawk awkward awesome ordinary organize, orphan, orchard, ornament, orthodontist, pause, naughty, audible, author, exhaust and authentic. We're going to learn how to build on those words using prefix and suffix. So uh, using prefixes, which is at the front of the word, we can use the word disorganized. We can use um, ends of words like ly with authentically. A double L Y, authentically. Okay, having a look at some of the um, homophones that we're looking at today, all of these words sound exactly the same but have a different or sound in them. So which is which? Obviously pause means to take a break. You might know it as that symbol on your computer. Pause, pause of a dog or a cat. Pause could be the pause in your face, in your skin. And this is pause a um, jug. Okay, pours water out of a jug. So all of those words say or, um, but are homophones. They sound the same, but they have very different meanings. You're going to be asked to do that in your spelling rules, um, pages 30 and 31. So you can go ahead now and do the spelling activities, finding the graphemes in those words. Good luck. Bye.